Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the new Outlook app for Windows is an app you either like or you don't, according to what I see in the comments and the reports doing the rounds online. And as you may well know, switching in and out of the new Outlook and the classic Outlook has been difficult um, during Microsoft's transition from mailing calendar to new Outlook and also trying to get classic Outlook users onto new Outlook. And just on a side note, classic Outlook at this stage is going nowhere. It's only been deprecated in 2029. I'll leave a video linked if you would like some more information. But it seems now that regarding the change in in and out, if you want to use the two apps, Microsoft now is starting to listen to feedback in regards to that. Where according to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Microsoft now has mentioned that this behavior now is going to be changing for the good. Where you'll be able to simultaneously use classic Outlook without switching back from the new Outlook, which I think is at least a step in the right direction. Now, according to Microsoft, and I'm quoting, before this rollout, if you switch from classic Outlook to new Outlook, you would then have to switch back to use classic Outlook again. And this was getting a bit of a, a schlep and a bit of a mission for a lot of users. So this is where the change is coming. So Microsoft says that after this rollout, users will be able to use classic Outlook without switching out of new Outlook. So when users select the toggle in new Outlook, Microsoft says they will then have the option to open classic Outlook or switch back to classic Outlook, which I think is nice. And then they carry on to say that if you choose to open classic Outlook, it will then launch right away without requiring you to switch back. And if you choose to switch back to classic Outlook, new Outlook will be minimized in the taskbar and classic Outlook will launch, allowing you to use both apps. So new Outlook notifications, they say, and reminders will be suppressed for that session and classic Outlook notifications will be shown. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Um, not having to switch back and forth, but just being able to use the two apps simultaneously at the same time, I think is a step in the right direction at least. Now the rollout, Microsoft says, it will begin rolling out the default behavior to keep new Outlook minimized after a user switches out of the new Outlook in mid-May 2025 and expect to complete by late May 2025. And it says it will begin rolling out an option to open Classic Outlook without switching out of New Outlook in early June this year, 2025, and expect to complete by late July. So although the New Outlook is going nowhere, at least this, I would think, is a step in the right direction if you do find yourself using and wanting to use both apps for whatever reason. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.